you're already using AI to build more and faster? That's amazing. And then when you're done building and start debugging with Chrome DevTools, you're staring at console errors all on your own again? This doesn't have to be that way. With the AI innovations in Chrome DevTools, there is some magic for your toolbox, ready to support your debugging journeys. Let's dive in. In this video, we'll cover how you can enable AI innovations, how console insights can help you with errors and warnings in the console, how AI assistance for styling, performance, network, and sources make debugging more conversational, and how auto-labeling can help you annotate performance traces more quickly. Before you can use AI innovations in Chrome DevTools, you need to enable them in the DevTools settings. In DevTools, click the Settings icon in the top right corner, and then from the list on the left, select AI innovations. Then switch the toggles to enable all features. Note that those features are only available for users signed into Chrome who are at least 18 years of age, are in a supported region, and have DevTools set to a supported language. To learn more about the latest requirements, visit this link. If your Chrome installation is managed by an organization, your administrator needs to enable AI innovations using an enterprise policy, and you'll find more information through this link. Once you have AI innovations enabled, let's start exploring them. Console Insights helps you to understand messages logged to the browser console. In Chrome DevTools, hover over either an error or warning to reveal the floating icon on the right. Click the Understand this error button to generate an explanation for your error using Gemini. Copy code snippets from the explanation by clicking the clipboard icons. Expand the data used to understand this message section for you to understand which data has been sent to Gemini. In case the explanation didn't solve your problem yet, click Use Search instead to open a new tab with a Google search for the selected message. And make sure to use the voting buttons in the bottom right of the explanation to let us know if it was helpful or not. AI Assistance in DevTools allows you to chat about various areas of your inspected page without ever leaving DevTools. You can chat about styling, performance, network, and sources. To start a chat with AI assistance for styling, go to the Elements panel and right-click the element you want to debug. In the Element Context menu, select Ask AI. This opens the AI assistance panel in the bottom drawer. Your context element is shown in the bottom left of the panel. Click any other element from the DOM tree or use the element picker to change the context element. The center of the panel holds suggested prompts, which update based on the specifics of your selected element to help you get started quickly. If you have your own question in mind, enter it in the prompt input below and hit Enter to send. In its responses, AI assistants might suggest interactive code snippets to gather more information from your page or to apply fixes. You can review those snippets before they run. Click Cancel to stop them from executing, or continue to run them. Styles updated through AI assistance are summarized in the Unsafe Changes panel in the bottom of your chat. Expand this panel to see all changes at a glance. Connect the workspace and then click Apply to Workspace to have Gemini match the collected fixes back to your source code, automatically reversing potential code transformations for you. After the matching is done, review the matches and click Save All to persist them to your local file system. AI Assistance for Styling can use all data your inspected page can access through web APIs. To understand which data is specifically used for your conversations, Expand any of the progress steps in your chat history to learn more. AI Assistance for Performance allows you to chat about the performance of your site. To start a chat, go to the Performance panel and record a profile. After the recording is finished, in the top left of the panel, click the toggle to open the Performance Insight sidebar. 
Inside the Performance Insights sidebar, click any Insight card to expand it. Click Ask AI to open the AI Assistance panel, or if already opened, use the selected insight as conversation context for your chat. The suggested prompts will update based on the selected insight. Click any of them or enter your own prompt to start a chat. Click any of the progress steps in your chat history to understand which data is used by AI assistants. Alternatively, you can use AI assistants for performance to chat about activities on the main thread of your recorded trace. In your trace, navigate to the main thread, right-click any activity, and in the context menu, click Ask AI to use the selected activity as conversation context and chat away. While we are here, there is one more AI feature for performance traces. Again, right-click any activity from the main thread, and in the context menu, click Label Entry. Now, instead of manually entering a label, Click the floating icon next to the label input and have Gemini generate a label for you instead. AI Assistance also works for network requests. Go to the Network panel in Chrome DevTools. Hover over any network request to reveal the floating button and click it to open AI Assistance. Alternatively, right-click any request and select Ask AI from the context menu. Use any of the suggested prompts or your own to start a chat. Last but not least, AI assistants can help you to understand the resources used by your inspected page. In DevTools, open the Sources panel. Find a text file in the page tree on the left. And either by using the floating button or Ask AI from the context menu, open the AI assistants panel. Then chat away using the suggested prompts or your own. Console insights in AI assistance across styling, network, sources, and performance help you extend your AI workflow from building into debugging. Now it's time to go check out AI innovations in Chrome DevTools and explore more in our docs. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I got overly excited. <laughs>